a fool podcast. What's up, fool podcast? Welcome, everybody. We got uh, Martin Rizzo right here. Uh, Rodrigo on his way. You know, he's killing roaches somewhere, stepping on them. <laughs> Frankie Quinones right here, play the gentleman. Hey, what's up? That's boys? right, people. Cholo fit. <laughs> Imo what? Primo. Imo Primo, Everything's dude. Slim. Hermelita, what was her name? Juanita Carmelita. Carmelita, Carmelita. Carmelita. Pachanga? Carmelita. It's a yeah. party time every time. <laughs> Fuck. That was good. Yes, I love it, dude. So what's up? Um, I heard you got a new you um you got a new um sketch out, Imo Primo. Yes, on me. Well, dropping tomorrow. Fel uh, featuring Felipe Esparza as Ignacio. Homie. Ignacio. <laughs> so call me Nacho, I'll stab you, bro. <laughs> 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 what's up? For more importantly, um, Frankie. We met years ago at the uh, at the Club Deluxe in um, San Francisco with Big Al and the Big Toenail. Yep, yep. Everybody knows toenails? about that toenail, homie. Yeah, it's a legendary toenail. I don't know about him. Bro, he, he, yeah. he, he was driving, bro, like, um, he, he wore sandals, bro, and drove with those sandals over to Oakland, bro. And every time he pressed the accelerator, we saw that big toenail. Fuck. Yeah, fools would use it to cross, instead of paying the toll for the bridge, they would just use his toenail. Like, you would put it out and you would get from San Francisco to Oakland across the toenail. <laughs> What's <laughs> up, fool? But Rodrigo's here. But you did grow up the, in um, San Jose or the Bay? No, from, I'm from down here, actually, yeah. but from I down here? Yes, but I moved, I was born in San Fernando, homie, and then we lived there when I was a little kid, you know, with my mom and dad, and then we and then we went to Oxnard and Camarillo, and then, well, and then yeah. I lived, but I lived in San Francisco for 15 years. But I was still a teenager when we moved to up to the so Bay. So we used to spend every. I always had familia in the in San Pancho. But you know, I, was, like? I didn't start stand up until I was 25. So I was already Me in the too. Bay. I was already in the Bay for seven years, eight years. But and then so that's why you know everybody in the comic community is like, oh, that's the fool from the the Bay, the that Chicano so from the Bay. You're moving you know, but, north. Up and up, little by little, yeah, right? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Oxnard, and they just going up. Yeah, oh, yeah, shit, just kept dude. going up. He, yeah. just, he lived in Huascalo for six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> six I lived in uh, uh, yeah, yeah. What was it? Uh, Los Baños. Humboldt. I lived in Humboldt for uh, not just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald Triangle. Right but there? yeah, <laughs> the migratory pattern. Yeah. And you have a HBO special, spe fresh, right? It just came out. Yeah, the HBO Max. You know, I don't want to say H I don't know if that Congrats, makes it more. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, homie. I think if you have HBO. Oh, yeah. It's going to show up no matter what, right? Anything you come put out there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, it's on the app. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember my special came on HBO Go. Oh, that was before HBO Max. <laughs> <laughs> Yours can <laughs> imagine. <laughs> if I would have done it two years ago, it would have been an HBO Now. Yeah. There's a lot of Is, HBO, it, is there an HBO now? now? Yeah. There was an HBO Now. There wasn't. All these HBO Now, HBO Go. They were all part of the HBO family, but as a streaming. From cable, right? From yeah. cable. cable. From service. cable and from internet streaming. But they just bundled them all together. That's oh, what HBO Max. Okay, okay. You have everything now. You have the yeah. show that were like. Because I think Brody Stevens had a show on HBO that was very. It was like a short, and it, it's on there too now. But it was. But it did start off on the streaming. Okay. Yeah, like the Max came out like with the pandemic, <laughs> huh? Oh, Max was Dude, not, not going hard. Yeah. Everyone came out when now uh, YouTube got hot and Snapchat got hot and all things got hot. They all wanted to have their own little internet shows too, because I know yeah. that Comedy Central had a bunch of shows that were only three minutes long. You know, you know what was ahead of their time? And only on the long. internet, right? Yeah, there's a there's a funny sketch show, a funny sitcom that was on HBO on uh, Comedy Central that starred um, that little that little ch comedian chick, little little um, Trisha, little Esther, little Esther. She played like a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember was, that. Yeah, and she was in I a, mean, I seen the commercial. Yeah. I didn't see it. The oh, show man. was called <laughs> Eight Guys in a Car. Yeah, and it was black, eight black dudes that were like... They they borrowed, they they showed the car at, in different times of the day. And mm. um, somehow they all got arrested. And like they met Little April. Little, little what's her name? Little Esther's in it. But there were a bunch of vignettes that were very short. Oh, wow. I mean... Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a trip. See, even... When I got the HBO, or doing the HBO Max thing, it says HBO Original, Super Homies, this and that, and then it says a HBO Max. It almost looks like a like a like one of those advertisements for a, a concert, like sponsored by Pepsi, Budweiser, type of thing. I'm like, like a Coachella people are like, well, huh? what's your special on? I'm like, oh, I think it's on the, yeah. All these it's on HBO it's on home the, box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. How about um, Nucleus? Do you know what was ahead of its time? CISO. Remember CISO? 
Yeah. They, they produce comedy specials. They like disappeared, ten, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was like done. 10 right, years ago. Know what they are. That was NBC. <laughs> that, that was like NBC. That, like dude, a Netflix, right? Every, they were throwing money out, bro. Like, they, like, they were, that, like they're never going to run out. George, George, George I'm sorry. Um, Joe Dia did a special there. Big J Okerson did a special jo- there. Yeah, yeah. Joey um, a bunch of other people yeah. did their special there. But, man, they, they just went under, huh? It went under. It was up with the Comedy Dynamics or something, huh? It, it was yeah. ahead of its C-Song, time, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah was, Didn't NBC early. have the Peacock streaming too? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, so that's their follow up to a failed CISO, is now they got the Peacocks. <laughs> yeah, no. But, but Peacock is like a, uh, they have like a bunch of channels, right? Also, right? Like, like it's uh, its own network. Do they have a bunch of channels that run like different movies and different shows. I think that's, a, I think that's Pluto right there. That's Pluto. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a Pluto's. So Peacock. I, so I know that Pluto does uh, that. A different world, I, huh? I thought that Peacock did it too. <laughs> no. Pe- well, Peacock, I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. even get it at first. Yeah, it's like what she well, at least said because I was like, "What? Like Peacock? What?" And then I remember, "Oh, because NBC is the the Peacock feathers, yeah. dude." And, it, it, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh, I get it." Okay. <laughs> we had a, we, were, we were talking about exactly <laughs> this when we had a uh, Melissa. Um, I'm sorry, we had um, that's her name, Melissa Camarcho. Melanie Camarcho. Melanie Camarcho. <laughs> we were just talking about this, and she said that she had a, she knows a comic that has a, a sh- that had a show. On seven point two, and you go like, damn motherfucker, you can't have cable to watch his show. Damn, you gotta not have cable to it, watch his show. Seven point two, yeah. I know that's you have to have uh, a long antenna. No, no you gotta oh, yeah. not have cable because that's a free channel. That's, Transistor radio channel. Oh, huh? that's shit. that black uh, TV network, right? Yeah, I it's like you, we, we, bounce, you, bounce TV. When you dog. don't have cable, <laughs> and then you have the little the little thing on your wall. Where uh, they hatch the road chase right there on your wall. Yeah, there you bounce go. TV. That's right? when you see it when folks have a TV sitting on top of another TV. Yeah, it's for that, homie. Yeah, and yeah. Um, that it's show was seven point two. She said, she said you can't have cable to watch his show. Shit. But uh, you, if you have you, your show is on that network, nobody can watch if you have cable, huh? All you gotta do is just try to record that shit and upload on YouTube. Cause if you miss that thing, you're gonna miss it. You know. Well, you go. You want to try some of this Uber bread? Uber bread, bro. Uber. It's, uh, it's Filipino, the it's purple root. one. After, Ube. just because I'm drinking this beer. All right. I'm have my, with beer I would have my special beer. on PAX TV. Remember that shit? Oh, PAX. PAX TV. Yeah. That's yeah. Exists, right? There's so much Does shit it now, dog. It's like, that, that's like, old, dude. PAX no, TV. No, I remember PAX, yeah. I used that to, was like a UPN. So, PAX came after, right? That was on tripping? Spectrum. Was right? it? I, that was like a... Because I didn't have cable yeah, growing up, so like I usually try it. Before Seinfeld got his DOI to watch Seinfeld on Roku. Roku, <laughs> but that's a device like that. That's where that's where um, that's where cars Roku's and still co- alive though. That's where yeah, co- yeah, cars yeah. and coffee started on Roku. Really? Really? Yeah, no, Roku oh, no. Yeah, crackle, right? crackle, crackle. I'm sorry. Crackle, crackle. crackle was <laughs> ahead ahead of its time for what sure. Happened? Crackle dude. done or what? Still around? It got absorbed at the end of something else, right? I don't know what the fuck. It's hard to keep up. Dog. Crackle like, had hey. a bunch of shows too that were original. They had one guy. They had one stupid show on Crackle. That was all shot in like in the guy's perspective, in like the the guy's perspective. It was called Knockout Harry. Uh huh. And um, when he gets punched, it feels like you got punched. You never see the guy's face. Oh, oh, oh. so the camera moves like. Yeah. Oh shit. You never okay. see the camera's face, but you see him when he's being chased. You could see the camera chasing him. So the whole, it's a very action television. It's like POV, right? Point yeah, of view. Yeah. Point of view. Yeah. The whole show with the point of view of the guy being chased. Interesting. It reminds it's me of those movie? videos. You ever seen those videos? Hardcore Henry. Hardcore bro. Henry. Oh. And it was a crackle. Oh, I watched a different Hardcore Henry. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's a porno, Rasa. That was on X videos, bro. That's on part two, bro. Hardcore Henry. Yeah, fucking get it, Henry. You're doing great, brother. <laughs> Metamelo. <laughs> what? Again? Hey, people still watch porno, yeah. man? Hell yeah. Uh, hell yeah, Obi. No, I mean, not on v- DVD anymore, but like on, online. It's, it's yeah, so it's easy free, now, right? bro. It's, it's insane. It's, it's right scary. Here, bro. It's scary how easy I wonder it how, is, how many kids have, have watched porn on their phone. All the time. And then press the wrong button, and then and then um and then cast it to the living room with a family, bro. All the time, for sure, dude. Yeah, for sure, that's or the Bluetooth. That's my fear, bro. You leave your Bluetooth that I, on. That I'm, that I'm watching porn in a lobby, then it goes to other televisions. Kids are oh, lucky homie. now. Yeah. Back, because I remember back then, I used to, have to like five friends had to go to a friend's house who had the internet, the internet. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and then bang the dial up modem and shit. Yeah, and, and bang bus white so, chichi. Yeah, a white chichi. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or like when I was a kid, bro, someone would knock at your door and go, "Hey man, you got that tape?" <laughs> bang bus oh, changed homie, the game. You got that though, red dog. tape. 
<laughs> oh, dog. I remember I, I felt bad because one time I took one, I jacked one from my grandpa's house, and I, he used to make me go take him the cans, the recycling to the center. But he had those those car seat covers over the seats. Yeah. You know, like the ones you stretch over. And I had the VHS tape like under my shirt. And when I got in the car and I slid it into the, in between the car seat cover and the car seat, and then took the cans in and all that. And then I slipped it back out, put it under my shirt, and went in and I got the tape. Damn, and I, to this day, I want to tell him. Dog, like, hey man, I did that. You know, I want to tell him. I should come clean. Spy, huh? It was hard I back then. It, I, but that's what I'm, that's to, what I'm saying. That's how hard it was to get porn back to then. To bust a nut, dude. And dude. now you can just get it on the fucking kids can get it on the internet. That's crazy, dog. What made what made what made what the internet did is made on those people hid hide from us. They, the people that right. want, like porn all the time. You could before, bro. You be at a magazine stand, they'd be standing right there next to you, bro, looking at yeah. porn. <laughs> All sweaty. Poor huh? dog. <laughs> it made people dis. It made these perverts disappear, bro, to their houses. <laughs> yeah. Before, bro, they'll break a mag- they'll be- These people buy magazines and go park somewhere in the park and masturbate, dog. Yeah. Or they go to a park or whatever, dog. I remember when I was like in junior high, I was walking with my girlfriend, and we looked over to the right, and um, there was a man right there jerking off, dude. Oh. Into what? In just his hands? His hands Into dog. the air? <laughs> yeah. To us walking by. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to, to the world. Like, oh, I fucking up, love you fools. Yeah. Into the air molecules, Rasa. <laughs> but his eyes were closed when we passed by, dog. Like, who does it like it's that? Probably dog? Oh. See that? Wait, oh, he closed his eyes for you guys? He, he, wasn't, even, he wasn't even watching a Damn, I would have been offended. Like, what, I'm not good enough a, for he you? He wasn't even watching a magazine or nothing, but he had imagination, bro. That's spank yeah. bang. Yeah. Spank Super bang. That's the real, yeah, the spank bang, homie. That's the real shit. So he probably stands he probably parks at Hollenbeck Park every day and watches people walk by and just jerks off. Or he masturbates to the geeses, dude. I never thought of it. <laughs> because nature, hey, it could get you. Yeah. you know, He's into wild there. stuff. Bestiality. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Spank bang, dude. Yeah, the spank bang. That's a real What's thing. up, food podcast? What's up with your hat, bro? Where you going, bro? Doug, honey? I got this <laughs> at the 99 cents. It's Tig the Taro. Pina Colada, dude. <laughs> <laughs> This fool never is gonna age, dog. I swear. I haven't seen him in. <laughs> like, I, found I, I, I haven't seen him in like six years, and he looks the fucking same, dog. It's like fuck. He just gets bigger, bro. Like real fatter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Like William Shatner every year one pound. Yeah. <laughs> He's ninety, bro. Like, <laughs> uh, that's what keeps him young. Some blog. Uh, I tell you, people. You, do you go through that age. People think you're young, but then you get to the age where you're supposed to look like, and then people stop asking. Oh yeah, he's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's over the hill. Eh? Yeah, yeah. He's getting older now. Yeah. Like when I was in high school, man, my dad came to pick me up, and he goes, mm. yeah, "I think th- that's your brother." I said, "No, that's my dad." Damn. But now when you see my dad now, you in, in no way, I'm gonna fuck my brother, dad, bro. bro. Yeah. Motherfucker with white hair, looking like Hank here, yeah. looking like Cotton. Yeah. I kill Freeman. <laughs> dude, how about that cockatoo this weekend? <laughs> oh my, hey, he aged a lot, dude, Birdman. Oh man, shout out to Birdman. Eh. Oh, Birdman? Up yeah. in San Jose. Yeah. Representing bro. Eastside San Jose in the house, homie like Birdman. Like 40, the fool showed up on, the, on a Sunday show with a, a red Pendleton and light blue. Some jeans and the red shoes. I said, listen, bro, you can be standing yeah. l- looking like Captain Norteño, bro. <laughs> yeah. Captain, Nor- <laughs> yeah. Captain Norteño. Hey, bro. <laughs> like, hey, we get it, homie. We know you're from up we here. We get you it, know? bro. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to show off to us, bro. Show off to other people, right? <laughs> red socks. What about Baby Bash concert yeah, show like that, daddy? Yeah. Hey, but that fool aged <laughs> fucking like five years. Since yeah. five. Hey, homie, you know he listens to the podcast. Bro, that fool went from yeah. looking like... Put him on blast, eh? He doesn't know what to speak. He doesn't know what a podcast is. He went from looking at Burt Reynolds to Burt Young, bro. He started looking like his bird, fool. Oh, shit. Hey, Burt, man, I love you, homie. I know you listen to this podcast. He's bad as it. Does he listen to this podcast? Hey, what did Burt say about those chicks outside and I made that joke? Which which one? That they're looking for older guys. Oh, oh you take me, oh. bro. No, 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 no. It was funny. Okay, so so Butch was like, yo, man, I go to Berkeley because those girls are older men. I'm like, and then in the bro man's like, how come you don't take me? They love they like they love old men, not old old men. <laughs> and then was like, yeah, they don't like mummies, homie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, man. Oh. It's gonna be a very particular type of woman that's gonna like bird man. That's gonna I don't know. I don't kiss. Him. You never know, bro. They could be a twenty. I mean, he has you a, never he has know, a, dog. He's, got, he's, he's got very swag. well. Gro- he's very well yeah. groomed, he's though. I mean, he's a well him, groomed yeah. bird man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything's always like nice and tight. His beard and all that, and he's in danger I mean, like a dodo bird, bro. His <laughs> bird like has it's like talking to him now, like a person now. Like, come on, get it together. 
<laughs> you show up with your mom. Get it together. <laughs> <laughs> he touches me. He touches me in places. Well, hey, well. <laughs> bro, <Shut> up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how's going? That's, funny. Hey, that's funny though when you showed up wearing red shoes and a red penalty. <laughs> Everything though. For real, bro. I, 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 who is this man? Who is this Marvel yeah. character, bro? <laughs> who brought the Phoenix here, Ray? He, he's scared yeah, he yeah. scared her son, dude. <laughs> what? He scared out Philip because Philip was like, You don't know who he was standing next to him. I don't know who this guy was sitting next to him. Great grandpa dog. Like, hey, yeah, if, you if you didn't know if you don't know who Birdman is, you show up looking like that. I didn't recognize him when like, I seen him, though. <laughs> I kept telling Rachel that, that's, oh, that's Birdman. You gotta stop fucking around. Yeah, that's bro. Birdman. No, it's not. That's Birdman. No, it's Damn. not, dude. Bro, you know what he looks like now? He looks like that old man from um, old school now. Blue. Blue. Oh, blue. <laughs> You're my boy, blue. Old Except man, red. red. <laughs> yeah, he's my red. boy, red. My boy, oh, old shit. man, red. Everybody, I have like deals who are like old school sweaters, and I have deals up there too that are north. They'll be like, oh my god, that's what Birdman reminds me of. He's like Bridgie, that guy. Like, <laughs> they're the same though, they act the same, everything. Like, you guys are over this beat. I know them, bro. Over nothing, <laughs> don't we? I love Birdman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck <laughs> Bird, with his bike, oh, right? I'm gonna go uh, say bye to my homeboys, and you go over there, brother, like old two way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple. I feel like when Birdman, I mean, uh, when he passes away, it's, it's me like Yoda. He just disappears. He the side of the cross like he's already dead. We'll be like, well, yeah. like Yoda, yeah, let's go to the wake, <laughs> boo. Bro, all Birdman's gonna do is gonna go back into one of the improv photos that they were <laughs> Like the Shining, bro. Well, he's gonna outlive everybody, watch. <laughs> he probably is, dog. Like, I bet we're talking all this shit. Like, he's gonna be fucking riding his bike now. Nah, like, yeah, it's in the photo. <laughs> he's gonna turn it to, turn it to a bird. And, yeah. <laughs> and this is a full tell story. He was a good dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Find Nobody talks shit about somebody ever <laughs> die, bro. Felipe Final was always form. cool to me. Homie. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's cool to hear him talk about his point of view on life, because he like, of course you're gonna question everything he said. Like when he was, he showed me the photo of that lady who hit him on his motorcycle. Oh, like, that's right. That's why he lost hospital, weight. Huh? Oh, and he's telling me and Bush that um, he's gonna sue <laughs> for like he's gonna sue her for like. 1.5 million dollars who said that butch no Birdman. Birdman. oh uh -huh. and butch said uh but butch said yeah because you make that much huh <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost your wages yeah. homes yeah. hey homes <laughs> lost yeah, wages yeah. bro bro <laughs> you know homes over there bro i was, I was, I was about to open a successful restaurant you, you, for you, a fucking you, you uh, joe montana that. 49ers jersey bro <laughs> i feel like uh Intentional infliction of emotional distress to his mom or what? <laughs> <laughs> I was bedridden. <laughs> hey, home. He looked fucked up, bro. Have Maybe you ever, he he did. It's worth one point five. Yeah, I would say. All the damage. Where, where did he? Home. Where where's his injuries at? He was on uh, motorcycle, motorcycle, right? Don't say that beat, call me or what? <laughs> <laughs> he left the <laughs> wing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peepee, <kid. laughs> no, but he was on his motorcycle, he was right? On his motorcycle, kind of dangerous. Oh, yeah, fuck, I knew it. dog. But we're he like, no, I mean, like, too. we're like his legs. He was, he was, he was, just, he was, he was waiting for he the green light. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets him parked? <laughs> but we're like in his, in his arm or leg. He was or limping. What? He was limping, man. Oh, yeah, he, fuck, he, he, man. He, he looked like he was walking like he was injured, like he's injured. Yeah. He said he lived because um, he was vaccinated. He's got that. He's got that real OG limp, dude. Like a real hey, gangster. Hey, fools be posting like, those videos of people like you know oh, shaking. Got the they, got the, huh? yeah. they got the vaccine, huh? Yeah. Or that one girl like yeah. looks like she's like coming. She can't stop. Yeah, I mean, come on, now. that's like. Uh, yeah, I think it's bullshit. It's though. that oh, total. Bullshit. Come on, bullshit, now. bro. They got hey, Tourette's, fool. I did. That shit did fuck me up, though. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I had a bad headache, and my left ear got. Red and hot, like like red, red, I homie. Sleeping on it. I was tripping, <laughs> but four hours red later, it went away. Red yeah. red <laughs> hey, what about that fight we that saw? Was it though? What for? Oh, oh, the homies. Oh, two friends, huh? In San Jose? Yeah. Yeah, I recall. Yeah, 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 there's always Slap a fight boxing, right there, though. homie. Yeah. Yeah, and people were saying on the comments, they look like they're fucking punching in a dream because they were slow ass punches, dude. Trunk punches. It was funny, dude. Everything is closed over there, um, Frankie. Oh, right there where the San Jose Improv is? Ghost Town. From that corner all the way to the last corner. Yeah. Everything is closed except the San Jose Improv. And across the street, only that crazy bar. You know which one. Oh, yeah, homie. That Three, 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 three Amigos or whatever Now it's something or? else. Okay. Somebody always dies no. every six months. Dog, and it's always a sad-ass story, too. It's like, Man. this fool died. He was a Little League coach. He has five kids. And I'm like, what the fuck? Right there? Like, come on, man. Right there. But, That's how you know you're not going to live, bro. What, what is he, bro? Literally, coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a, a woman was there. She was like harassing the police, talking shit, 
and um, I guess she got smacked. And then her boyfriend jumped in all crazy, and he got smoked by the police right in front of the... Uh, no! Yeah. But well, that's now, back... Eddie, wait, back that days. night? No, no, no. Oh, oh, I was going to say. Oh, We're going back, what, like five, seven years? Five, seven years. Okay, yeah. Damn, man. Ugh. It was packed, right? Dude, it was insane. That, the, so everything's still closed around there? Yeah, because they, were, they weren't even open yet, and we, we had a sh- I had shows booked there. What was it? Uh, I don't know, July, June, or something. And then they weren't open yet, though. And then everybody, you know, they sent everybody the email, hey, show's been postponed, but they were set. Well, shout out to San Jose Improv. I know it was just a glitch or yeah. whatever, but, uh, you know, they were selling their tickets. I mean, like, up to they the like, week before. And then I'm like, hey, like, and they're like, oh, no, yeah, we're not open. I'm like, hey, but fools are hitting me up online. Like, hey, just buy my tickets. <laughs> and, it, the, you know, it's like, and they weren't even open yet. And they were like, so I had to explain to all these people. I'm like, we're not open they're like, why'd you cancel your You're show? Nice to them, bro. People are hitting me up like that to us. I'll see you there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They're like, why'd you cancel your show? I'm like, I didn't cancel. They're not open yet. Stay you know? safe, it's funny how they, 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 they come at you like you're in charge, bro. I like, know, exactly. I'm, I'm like, just, like, I'm, I'm the owner of the San Jose Improv. Like somebody hit me up one time and goes, Felipe, man, <laughs> we just bought tickets for a San Francisco punchline, 10 of them, but you're a Atlanta punchline. What should we do? Oh, my God. I'm an Atlanta <laughs> motherfucker. You're yeah, an yeah. idiot. I don't know, know what should you do, bro. Yeah. Go over there. There's a redheaded girl there selling purses. Talk to her, bro. <laughs> And, and we said Molly, this, I love you, Molly. <laughs> and we said this last time. Person. It was like, well, like they don't hit up the fucking like bookies, you know? Hey, bro, <laughs> are the times right? You know? Like, yeah, man. The fuck? They don't hit up um, Los Tijos. No, do they, man? They're gonna have a um, <laughs> yeah. vegan dog, vegan dogs. <laughs> or should I eat before I get there? <laughs> I think they might have vegan dogs. But they do hit a, you up like that. No, it's a trip that they Personal, think that, like I'll, they I'll think that you you're in control of everything, homie. Like yeah. the way the I'll venue sells the tickets, right all of that. Now, I'm like, yeah. homie, I'm just you know talking to you is not like talking to celebrities, hey, bro. <laughs> Hey, hey, Rolling Stones, uh, hey, one of my hey, homies. Hey, 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 Mick Jagger, uh, what happened? Hey? I just bought my ticket. Uh-huh. Oh, I got one in here that's perfect, eh? For the stage yeah. show. The way. worst is when, like, when they're like, well, what time are you going on, though? <laughs> what time do you go on stage? I'm like, fuck, I mean, the show starts at 8 p.m., right? Just go show up. <laughs> fuck it. I'm bringing my daughter, but she's not 21. What should I do? Yeah, yeah. Tell her to wait in the car. Crazy. I mean, what did the guy said? Oh, oh, this guy said it like this, man. Well, this guy emailed me like this. Felipe Esparza, man, I bought tickets for your show, but I lost them already. And what should I do, man? Should I just show Wait, my ID? I, he lost his tickets already. He printed mm. them and he locked them. Print them again. Yeah, <laughs> you can <laughs> still, yeah, yeah, you could still print them. It's like a QR code. Bro. Yeah, there you go. But so, yeah, he's expecting I, you to answer that's that what question I said, for bro. I, I asked something like this, bro. Um, I, I guess uh, look for your email and show up with your ID. Does he expect you to say, like, team, get on it? Yeah, these, are yeah, questions, right? yeah. these are questions. This is the question he should be asking his wife, bro. <laughs> I have my that? wife these questions. I was watching the weather today. Hey, it's 23 <laughs> degrees in New York. And she says, Saucy is stupid. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He That's needs why someone. Need a good lady. He needs someone. Need a good lady. Listen, over here, like, yeah. listen, listen, you dumbass. <laughs> Put down. I, you, you're, this, is not like, this is not like ordering a cookie sweatshirt, all right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, you could just email Burner and say, yeah. you want the blue <laughs> one, not the red one. <laughs> My bad, People are so stupid like that, Shout out to Big Burn on me representing. You order buying a Burner <laughs> cookie shirt. You order the green one, but you go hit a fucking Burner. You want the red one. Yeah. Like, you're going to go through all your 500 comments yeah. and go, oh, homie. I was I was going oh, down my 400 comments oh, and luckily I saw That's yours. Worst, homie. Yeah, Send yeah. me your billing number. What's billing number? <laughs> Some, I feel like sometimes they just use that as an excuse too, like to see if you're gonna get back to them. Because then they'll be like, you get back to them, he's like, ah, oh, hey, homie, nah, I know I could just man. reprint my tickets. They know how to get to back. They, what's up. Like, they know how to get hey, back at yeah. them, man. Like saying stuff, you're not funny, you suck. That's how I'm gonna get back, get, yeah. get back at them. <laughs> They're like, oh, you got back to me. Hey, it's my daughter's uh, 15th birthday. Can you come, come visit? And do a little set at Chuck E. Cheese uh, down in Torrance. You know, like you know, they want to open up those gates. Hey, so man, like, uh, my, we're all gonna be at your show, Frankie. Nothing big, eh, but. Cause you mentioned that the Sanchez family is in the house, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Nothing for nothing. When you give those fucking tickets to MC Pacho and Chaborita, hey, and then I let that sense. that fool in because he had a big ass um satellite fucking diamond ring yeah. on his pinky. Well, anyway, he was yeah. not in the. He, he he showed up with more heads than the passes allowed him to let in. 
So nah, you, you I, give that motherfucker two tickets, right? Yeah. You give him two tickets, this will brought four people. So he made a big ass scene. I just cannot let my homies in. I'm gonna give my tickets like a true guy from Harbor Area does it. And then he would give and I know he was calling you, bro. <laughs> What happened, bro? That was your special. You saw that. <laughs> Inside. Everybody saw it. Inside edition. He did three videos. On it. Hey, that's the homie. Breaking. Shout out. You know I know him is my 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 tío's a longshoreman. You know he's a longshoreman. Yeah. MC Pancho. I mean, he works with him. Podcast, bro. Yeah. Oh, homie. Yeah, back in the day. But Dude, I did. Homies. I did tell them his. Dude, I did tell him four tickets. But yeah, I left him. Show, I left him three tickets. Backstage passage. Toda la chingada, homie. And they they did fuck up. But I'm like, homie, you know, you're, you're down there getting ready for the show, you know, and he's down there, and I'm like, he still could have, you know, he's, he could have He could have walked in. in. I'm MC Pancho. Yeah. It's John like, But, yeah, Bad shout out to MC everybody. Pancho. I'm sorry, homie, that they left one ticket out, <laughs> but I did what I could, homie, and I'm glad you had it. He had a fun night that night, though. Did he go to a show? Because he, no, he didn't go inside, dog. He, he, he filmed it. He gave away the backstage package and gave away it. tickets. He did the right thing. And said, yeah, you saw it. But then he went to just like <laughs> the other venues and was kicking it. And he was just giving me shout outs like, yeah, yeah, I could, you know, I didn't want to leave my homie behind. Uh, and what was that? that? For you at the, at the Wiltern. At the Wiltern. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was not your special you were taping? Or? No, no. That was just a show. That was oh. like two two years ago, two and a half years oh, ago. Gosh, but crazy, but MC Pancho, oh, yeah. hey, thank you well, for showing up on me. Yeah. Sorry I couldn't make it to your, to your anniversary slash... Uh, your lady's birthday last week. So we were uh, we, we were doing a show somewhere, bro. Like, fire, uh, like in uh, Florida, talking about man, we gotta call Mister Wilcher and get him in. <laughs> <laughs> you were stressed out, for We were we passing the phone. Look, MC Pancho can't get in. You, what should we do? It's an American tragedy. Yeah. you couldn't sleep. I did everything mm-hmm. I could, on, and I was back there, homie, ready to go on stage. You know, and I'm nervous. I'm like, this the wheel turn, homie. This is like. I was busting tables across the street right there, and I'm like all nervous. And then I see that, vi- and I'm like, oh fuck, what? <laughs> and I try to text the fool, like, hey, you I know, know you like, saw my video. Hey, can you give him? <laughs> can you give him an extra ticket? You know, can you give him an extra ticket? And the homie never got back to me, and then it was too late. And I was like, all right, cool, but, but yeah, I don't yeah. like handouts, homie. <laughs> I mean, if this was in the Harbor area, we wouldn't have any problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chabolita, we went across the street and like ten pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 20 enchiladas and then some okay. I see where we're and at now here. Soda. <laughs> <laughs> big and soda. I, I had a bigger soda. <laughs> no, bigger. Somebody threw a cologne at me. <laughs> <laughs> smelled yeah, horrible, like... by the way. <laughs> Bro, they they laid it down last week in San Diego when they went to go eat. Bro, they went, they, they yeah, showed up from always. Dallas. Did you see all that food they threw down? Yeah, dude, that's a catering dog when they throw down food. <laughs> when, when MC, shout out to MC Pancho and Chamorita. And their yeah. big ass, their bodyguards. Oh uh, man! <laughs> <laughs> what dog? It's <laughs> like his goons, eh? Speaking of MC Pancho Charlie, like, oh, it was a, okay. Now I know what is what is Hello Fresh? It's America's number one meal kit. Every week, Hello Fresh sends you fresh, pre-measured ingredients, mouth-watering seasonal recipe right to your door, even the harbor area. Stop wasting time <laughs> at the grocery store and let HelloFresh help you make dinner time fun, easy, and affordable. Mm. This summer, HelloFresh has everything you need to get grilling. They got grilling bundles, grilling bundles, burger packs, surfer turf packs, and more, which means less shopping and more sizzle. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to easily customize your order on the app within minutes. Easily change your delivery food day, food preferences, plan a size, or skip a week. The best thing about HelloFresh is that um, if you're at home chilling, bro, and then you have your cousins coming over, you can go like this. Man, can we get an extra five meat- meatloaves or five extra extra chicken tacos? And they'll bring you whatever extra meals you have so you won't have to cook for your whole family. They got vegetarian options. And let me tell you, man, if I was single, when I was single back in the day when I was living in Frogtown, I would have loved to get these delivered to me because I have a microwave. <laughs> Call to action. <clears throat> Go to hellofresh.com slash full14 and use code full14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's hellofresh.com slash full14 and use code full14 for up to 14 free meals plus free shipping. Hey. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. What? Hello Fresh. And if you guys seen Joe yeah. Diaz, he lost a lot of weight on HelloFresh. 
Yeah, dude, that shit's good, man. I, I we get that at, at uh, Mean Stuff, and you guys order it. It's fucking good, dude. They they deliver the package with like the ice packs, bro. It's fucking bomb, dude. Wait, Joe, Joey Diaz, Joey Diaz, last four, last how many pounds? Like forty pounds. Forty? Yeah, because I know he does that in Weight Watchers, right? Weight Watchers. Wow. Bro, man, he one of those people that was annoying everybody, bro. Like, um, well, I thought it was funny when he was on Weight Watchers. He'll be like this. Had a great day, Lee. He had like five bowls. I ate an apple that was five points. <laughs> <laughs> I ate a pasta, ten points. <laughs> Fuck that. I can't, I can't yeah. keep track of points, On bro. Points. You? Oh, yeah. I can't uh, do that no. whole point scene. I take, yeah. I take track of bites. <laughs> yeah, no, <me> too, <laughs> that'd be good, though. If they had uh, a, a diet where you could only like eat, like, keep your meal to like a 50 bites a day. Why would you think it big Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat will just be taking bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat, fat just so be taking bigger. <laughs> hey, that's a good way to look at it. The amount Stuff of bites, me. yeah. But then you'll, but then you'll cheat because you'll be like, bites.com. Ah, okay. I can see no, the company, but I'm, dog. But I'm saying, though, then, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Say you have a sandwich, bro. <laughs> so you got to ask yourself, am I going to take one bite or two or save these two bites for that cake later? Save the, oh, take one big bite for the sandwich shit, and yeah. then the cake fucking, yeah. But I bet people will start stacking that fucking sandwich into little ass tiny Tiny pieces and Mush stuff. Or bigger ones. Yeah. A bunch of nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. Mush that shit, bro. Fucking, yeah. But homie, I gained 14 pounds in the pandemic, dog. You know what I mean? And then I got to do Creeper. He was he was my fitness instructor. <laughs> so I tried to, oh, hey, it's back to normal. And I'm doing my videos and fools are talking papas on the thing. Like, this fool looks like a burrito with arms and legs coming out of it. Like, well, he's a, this ain't no fitness instructor. One high I put, I was in love with the fit Creeper. Who's this? And I'm like, fuck, dog. You know what I mean? I, like, I was like... So yeah, I'm still I lost six of them so far, but yeah, I, didn't know I still that. got a way to go. Woo. But you inspire me, homie, because I know you've been vegan for how long you've been, but yeah. and I did it. I did it for like 32 days, and then I just started going to uh now I'm eating fish and chicken. But I haven't ate red meat yet still. But homie, it's tempting, dog. How about we have bread? Like, bread uh, fucks you up. Uh, I know, homie, I know. Bread's a thing. Cause you know what the thing is that when you eat well, you guys know, homie. When you eat, <laughs> when you when you put the bread in there, your body does the other shit to oh, the know. bread that turns it into other hot fucking shit. Carbs, homie. It's crazy, dog. You don't, you know, not. It's like that's, that's my weakness. Like I don't really like crave like food. Like oh, I'm gonna eat that pizza, but if there's like a bunch of cakes. Yeah, give me a give me a, like a bunch of cakes. I probably get all of them, bro. And those are yeah. empty calories too, because you can eat a shitload of those, and then you don't get full, man. But that's it. Yeah. What's your thing when you when you like when you want it? But well, you don't smoke weed, right? Yeah, no, yeah, I smoke oh, but weed. But when you get the munchies, like when you, I, were, when you when you first started smoking pot, what was your nah, go to? Oh shit, homie. Well, when we first met back in the day, I was like a wake and bake motherfucker. Like first thing I did was take a bong mm. toe as soon as I woke up, homie. And then like, hey, let me see what happens. Sound after. like Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife that's there to help you not, not make dumb decisions. She wakes <laughs> up, does coffee, <laughs> walks the dog, the boy goes See, straight but to she's a counting. A, but she's an operational stoner, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, like she, is, dude. she gets up, probably smokes her weed, and then she's like, All right, let's handle it. Always, shit. dude, always. That's not me. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna smoke and then hey, all right, let's figure it out. You know, like that's my process. But now I can only smoke when I get back to the pad. You yeah, know, man. But, but like yeah, my donuts are my. When you were living mess. alone. It was when I was living alone. It was more dangerous for me because yeah, me I would too, wake up me. in the morning, bro, and I would hit like a fat ass bowl, and instead of making coffee or, or watching television, I just go back under the blanket and go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, wake up nice. starving, bro. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> way. And then even that, that's the only thing that gives you enough energy to get up. Like, fuck, I got to go make the sandwich or make the order. Yeah. Like when people talk about the like, intermediate fasting where they, they, they go to sleep at nine. <laughs> You're like, that, that's because I'm just laying in bed. They don't, eat till, they don't eat again till <laughs> noon. I've done that every day of my life when I was single. <laughs> no, intermediate diet is no big deal when you're single, bro. Because you go to sleep at midnight or one in the morning. More chances are you're not gonna get up to eleven, and you're not gonna eat till twelve. Yeah. Because when you were like, when you were living like that, you were not eating every morning. You're not eating breakfast, no, right? No, no. Never ate. I never ate I, breakfast. It was like kind of like a snack and then a big yeah. ass dinner. Big yeah. dinner. Yeah. It's bad to go. live like that. Could you eat like three dinners in one day? Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's my problem, dinner, homie. homie. It's, especially us. We're out at the comedy clubs doing our thing. Mm. Have a couple of pistols, and then I go home, and you have that munchies, homie. You hit norms, or you hit whatever. Or something and I'm like, you just starve, bro. You have nothing. And sad. I can't, dog. I'm like, fuck. I <laughs> <laughs> like, it's how you know yeah. you, start, you start planning it out. You're going to save this sandwich for later. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you go down to the <laughs> lobby and go, dude, these hey. fucking bags of chips are the smallest bags of chips in the world, dog. The, for real, hey, gotta buy for four real. Of them. I got half a burrito in my car right now, homie, in the passenger Ooh. seat. I'm not even lying because I'm trying to break it up like that. You know, like, <laughs> fucking, hey, homie, you got to lose this weight, dog. Like, or else. <laughs> That's what I did today, bro. I ordered a burrito, but it turned out to put no meat or nothing, but they put all rice and all beans, so it's fatter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This one, I, you know, it's a good one. They, you know, they, it's close. You know, you've been to a uh, cafe. Uh, what is it called? Cafe de Ola, Ola, or it's on a. Uh, it's right here on Burbank Boulevard, like two minutes away. But they have a veggie burrito. It's good. Cafe homie. Rio. It's got it's got rice. No, oh. the Ola. Or, oh, I know that oh, is. Yeah. There's, a, there's a vegan spot across the street from that. No, no, no. You're across yeah. the street from that. Across the street from yeah, the, the vegan the chicken burgers. Place, yeah. Yeah, it's a chicken place. Yeah, uh, right there, homie. Yeah, they have one. It has it has good. Vegetables. I've never been there. What is it, homie? They have good veggie options. I'm I didn't telling know you. That. So I have a veggie burrito in the car. So I'm trying, homie. I'm trying to be on your level, you know, to lose <laughs> a to lose a panza. But it's fucking, you know, I'm all right. But yeah, fools be calling me out, dog. You know. And now we're back to the live show, so I'm going out there to creeper, and they're like, fuck. I yeah. know, bro. Um, shout out to uh, Bush Escobar and. El, el Momo, El Momo, El, el Gordo, Gordo Mamón. Yeah. Oh, El Gordo Mamón, yeah. yeah. Martin Rizzo, Rodrigo Torres, um, Gabby Lamy. But we did a video about us, us running, and like, <laughs> let me tell you about it. I know nobody watches this, <laughs> but you watch yourself, right? And you watch your titties bounce, right? And oh, you're watching your, your stomach wa your bounce. Like, you know, even, like, I ignored how bad Bush might think he looks, you know? Yeah, yeah. I thought he looked great. You know, I ignored Ro robust. Yeah, yeah. I knew, ignored how 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 the little Strong. stump behind me was running. You know, uh, <laughs> El Gordo Mamon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But watching yourself, you're like watching that shit going. Fuck it. Yeah. Like nobody, like hey, you said, nobody about, notices, but I like, got that. Yeah. I got that old man loose body. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm, hey, homie. Bro. I'm like, bueno, I have a thing I, called. I, thought I, was called I was watching that shit. I thought I was lifting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, homie. You, you, you telling you were me toned. about it, dog? You were toned, huh? I'm like, I have to work out to go in order to creep, keep the, you know, keep the oh, I'm not fitness instructor. But homie, I gained the 14 pounds, and one of my chichis is bigger than the other. It's been like Whoa. that since like I was 12 years old. Bro. I got a thing, homie. I got a thing called gyomastia. Look at. That's hey. like a twelve-year-old tit right there, dog. You look see, robot. It's obviously bro, you're, you're bigger than the other. Like, bro. Like, see how that yeah. one's bigger than the other? Yeah. But I said, "Fuck it, dog." I'm like, <laughs> "Who's gonna turn Show it again?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> hey, that, that's a man chest right there, dude. Those see, hairs. But look at, see, this I can't one. Grow that, dude. See, I'm looking in the camera. Oh, okay, yeah, I see, dude. that one looks. That no, one I looks... gotta, I gotta shave this shit. I let it grow for a video, but Nair. I gotta okay, shave. So Peter's right here, bro. Yeah, no, no. I got to trim it, homie, or else I fucking grow a sweater, like a sweater vest. <laughs> yeah, it's like fucking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So people do that Cholos, fitness, fitness yeah. Yeah. Homie, the, like, uh, most of the, my, most of, a lot of my people that come to my shows. <coughs> it's a limit. Oh, no. There's, there's actual fitness instructors that come with their whole classes to my shows. Like to the thing, so I have to like you it forces to me, me to work out. <laughs> a lot, a lot, Lisa. But I'm like, <laughs> a lot of cholos seen that creeper is a real person <laughs> in the hood. And it's a trip. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'd be like, fuck, <laughs> hey, that, <laughs> hey, that mustache is fake. What the fuck? Like, oh my <laughs> but no, the fitness community though, homie. Uh, it's like it forces me to work out, and I run, dog. I, I'm a runner. I like to yeah, run, and I'll and I'll smoke, and I'll run. I run six miles. I, I, you know, every other day I run two and a half miles on the off days, but every day I'm running. That's good, and it, I'm still look like this, dog. You know what I mean? Like, but I'm I'm grateful that it helps me like get to that. You know, it kind of forces me to work yeah. out because I can't be up there all fucking. Hey, I'm a fitness instructor, positive vibes or whatever. It's like something, nah, I mean, like, something when they, they're taking a photo at the improv, <laughs> and, and I'm, I want to look at them. The guy who took the photo for the improv, motherfucker. How many times? How long have you been taking photos? Why are you taking a side photo of a fat motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, wait, from the low angle, yeah. from the side, like the worst the angle. Of that, yeah. Photography, dude. Or, or I way, took a photo of you and you were leaning down on somebody, bro. <laughs> so now you got no, that the big, worst. Old, big old fucking gut, like fucking like oh, Alfred homie. Hitchcock. There was a homie who was like sitting, you know, I think it was the Ontario Empire, or one of the one, but he was front stage, but towards the right angle. So he's down low, up like that on the side. And post the photo like, oh, snuck a photo in, LOL. And I look, I was like, it was one of those moments when I'm like, fuck, homie, you gotta do something, dog. Like, this looks broke. <laughs> like, and fuck, I mean, you I should was, be arrested for that shit. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> fuck, homie, you really posted this shit? Like, but you can't, you're out of control of that. You know what I mean? It's like, but Report it's just like, that yeah. fool. <laughs> <laughs> 
will fucking have your <laughs> that, yeah. Facebook deleted. I don't understand yeah, like, why people put like, shit like that out. Like, dude, don't you see it look fucked up? I know, up? homie. It's like, you're blowing my cover, dog. Oh I'm, <laughs> I'm supposed to be a fitness instructor, homie. Mm-hmm. Like, that. Yeah, you look like that. Damn, all in public, yeah. public like that. Like, come on, homie. You look at that photo. Who the fuck's that fat yeah. ass? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> hey, Rodrigo, what was a bar that I ran into at Riverside? Remember? It has that neon lights inside. That was Pixels, dog. Pixels, dog. That's the name of it. Sorry, I'm trying to remember yeah, the name of it. Yeah, you were yeah, across yeah. the street at, uh, what was that, Lake Alger? Or the MTL. M- M- MTL. Yeah, oh, but then MTL. I caught up with you that. It was funny, dude. Yeah, it was, that was Yeah, funny. I remember I was, I remember looking at it. I was telling you, Felipe earlier. Yeah, I was like, turned around. I, I looked like, over the side. The I was like, is that Rodrigo right there? I don't, and then that's when I realized you had that whole other life of like, nah, fool, I'm getting an education. I got kids. <laughs> I got, you know, I was like, damn, fool, this fool's on top of his shit. Like, I didn't know. So, <laughs> fool, congratulations. Other life. Yeah, nah, nah. No, no, no. It's just like, yeah, yeah it was like, man. hell yeah. Pump it's me weird, up. bro, like when you run into people that are doing other stuff. <laughs> One time I went to go eat, bro, at an Italian restaurant right there around by Universal Studios. And I, was just, and I was just chilling. No, no, Michelli was like an Italian restaurant, bro. And guess who was the waiter, bro? The, the wrong, the wrong. It was a, you never expected who to be the waiter, bro. It was your homie, bro, T Rex. What? Shut yes. the fuck up. Shut the fuck no up. No lie, dog. Ask him. Oh, fuck. Well, guys, I'll FaceTime that fool right now, dog. It was right there, bro. You know where that fucking subway is? That fool's funny. The bro. subway and then the, stu- the, the the Universal Studio parking lot. And then it was a fucking, um, a, 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 like a regular Italian restaurant, bro. And it was, yo, hey, T-Rex here. was a server? Yeah. Vincent. No fucking way, homie. Oh, my. That's my boy But right it was there, weird, dog. bro, because that was like the, I was telling the person, we were the biggest waiter I've seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Bumping he's in the tall, he's, he's a tall like, motherfucker. He's gonna yeah, tell yeah. us what to eat. <laughs> 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 Y'all have you. ordered this, okay? Oh man, that feels funny as hell, man. I remember mean, when I used to wear Dodger Stadium, bro. I used to see people that I wasn't even, I wasn't even knowing, bro. Nobody recognized me. I was just there selling hot dogs, <laughs> giving oh, selling beers. I already had two TV credits. Yeah, I know. Isn't that a trip? Like we're, I remember I was busting tables at the LACMA, you know, the LACMA over there with the thing. Yeah. The museum, and I was a right? busser, dog. Yeah. And I already had a couple little TV appearances on comedy showcases. And and it's almost a weird situation to be in where I'm like cleaning up somebody's plates and like, hey, uh, aren't you the guy that was on fucking so-and-so showcase on fucking, uh, oh yeah, that was me. Oh, you, you should stick with it, man. Da, da, da. I'm like, all right, cool. You need any more uh, napkins or are you good? Like, you know, it's <laughs> Like people that don't know the the game, they think that you're like yeah. more balling than you are. They homie. think you're it's rich, like, bro. Yeah, they think, oh, you've been <laughs> on TV once, you're a millionaire, and I'm like, fucking, you know, it's not like that. I, I, saw, I saw you. I saw you a couple of times twice. Okay, the first one they paid me the second yeah. one they kept it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> today, I got a check, bro, for um, three cents. Oh, for residuals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For 30 cents. I know. And I was telling Lisa, uh, somebody bought that George Lopez episode of the <laughs> comedy get down. <laughs> Homie. Hey, but hey. Yeah, yeah. Because, so, you know, every time they sell okay. it, the executive producer gets all the cheese, then it breaks down. Exactly. Go down the ladder. All the way to the Those bottom. are always like, the mailbox money. You know how we call it. It's like, you know. Bro, I, one time I got a bunch of them. I had like 50 <laughs> checks. <laughs> and and none of like them were up, none, none, none of them were fifty cents, and no I add them all up, way. and it just ended up being five <laughs> bucks and seventy six cents all together. But you're being humble right now, bro. You've been on a lot of shit, all right? So I know you're know, getting bro. the fucking five thousand. Oh, I didn't know but this was these showing were, up. These were like, from my yeah. uh, fuck. I don't even know uh, Byron Allen. Yeah. Oh, that boy paid shit. Oh, hey, shout out to Byron Allen. Byron Allen. <laughs> no, those, those checks still show up, bro. I still, get, I still get $300 from him. Yeah. Nah, get, it, it, all adds, it does all add up. Yeah, it yeah. all adds up. But, bro. but when you change your address, how do they know? Or do you like do you tell like Byron they Allen? They send him to Rudy Moreno, bro. He's supposed to send him to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm room Reno. I, no, I feel like every time I get on the mic, you like you, you want me to talk. Like you're like, let's talk shit. And I'm like, oh, hey, hey, shout out to, thank you. Like, no, yeah. I'm room Reno. I think um, um, when when you get another, when you apply again on another show, I guess SAG after will realize where you are and and oh. pay you the checks. No, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so like, you'll get you, that's what they call know. mailbox money. You get these uh-huh. things that they say SAG on it and you don't know. And sometimes it's three cents, like you said, 
but sometimes it's grocery money on me and you're like Damn. it's not on the schedule Ooh. so it's like oh thank you you know but the best sometimes man you just mean, so, I'm, I'm I, new to that but sometimes I'm saying, I look at the check <laughs> and it goes oh shit Eric Andre <laughs> sold somewhere three hundred dollars yeah yeah Woo! But no, but I'm saying though, homie, like you're not expecting that, you know what no, I mean? Because you don't know man. when it's coming. So it's like, fuck, 200. That's my groceries for the fucking next two weeks, you know? It's like, Before that. Or my uh, Happy would, Meals. I would or get those the, in 2009. Hello Meals, yeah. Or, Hell yeah, man. I would get those before 2009. Oh, I guess I don't have to hustle for the next two months. <laughs> 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 nah, it just means you got more Before you like started getting it. popular and making money. Yeah. Well, you fucking, well, we've known well, each other before. Well, what would you do after the, before, after the show, like... Do you though hang hanging with a bunch of comics and go laugh or Denny's? No, dog. Yeah, I'm going to Denny's. I'm getting a burrito. I'm going home and watching Sports Center, and that's it, homie. Dun, 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 and dun, they dun, think, dun. Even now, they think, you know, when I started touring, like like touring with Craig Robinson was probably like my first break, and him <laughs> and Todd, you know, actually, one of my first big break was when fuck, your lady called me and was like, hey, do you want to open for Felipe at the San Jose Improv? And that was right after you won last comic yeah, standing. Yeah, man. And how long, when, what year was that? 2010. 2010. So t- eleven years ago, homie. Yeah. And I and I'll and I'll I'll never stop telling the story. I still tell it on other podcasts where I was like, I was in an apartment in San Francisco and you won it and I was jumping up and down and the neighbors downstairs fucking knocked on the ceiling to like shut the fuck up. <laughs> and my lady's like, hey, calm down. I'm like, you don't fucking understand. This is for fucking <laughs> This is bigger than anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Than it's like we're fucking making it, you know? Like Oh yeah. But it's also like a, you know, it, it's, it's also like realizing that it, it's a business and it the is. deeper that I got in the game, because I'm thinking, fuck you on last conversation. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I know that you were great for that. And it obviously was a good launching pad. But then it's like, then we have to deal with this whole world of this business. Yeah. You know? And then it's like, so I'm fucking so grateful that we we're able to keep this relationship and keep it cool and fucking, you know, I'm, I, you know, my, my thing is character work, homie. Yeah. And when you hit me up and you're like, hey, Ibo Primo, and fucking da da da, and you were like, I'll straighten my hair. And as soon as you said that, I was dying, homie. I started <laughs> laughing. I was like, oh fuck, fool, fool, this straightened hair, like. The first I, time I straightened <laughs> out my hair, I would do. I, I, uh, me and Steven Fly, we went. I went to go get a haircut, and I got my hair straightened. And it was short, bro. We went to a show, and I said, I look fucking weird, eh? Yeah, I look weird. I look weird. And I said, you know what? I got to do this in a character. Oh, homie, you nailed it, dog. That's a whole relationship. I'm like, I used to put my makeup on, bro. Black lipstick, black oh. fingernails. I hope it, I, you know, I hope that, yeah, you know, we, that we could do it again. Hell yeah, I, bro. I have a top I, I, hat. I, when you see, like, it comes out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I just got the cut right now, so I'll show it. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, hey, for I'm people I'm nervous about it, eh? And homie, you killed it, dog. All right. I don't know what acting classes or whatever you take, but it's fucking shows, homie. You know <laughs> what I mean? Because I'm like, and it's, I feel like people are going to want to see those fools together, you know? We're funny, bro. We do other stuff like, like, um, Imo Primo, Ignacio meet up to buy uh, birthday supplies. Yeah. You have anything that's not colorful? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the funny parts of the video because I'm like, barbecues are lame, you know? It's like, there's a kitchen like 30 feet away. Like, why are they making food outside? And you're like, yeah, it's so bright, you know? Like, <laughs> like, like I don't know. Just, hey, just, your, your, your homeboys, bro, I, I went to go look up that show. They, they were the main guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The dress up game. How long have you been working with those guys? You have a nice crew. Fuck, homie, over, over 10 years. We met, wow. it, we met it in San Francisco. Like, you guys uh, started in San Francisco doing those. Yeah, we had a, at a, you know, uh, 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 there was a spot called the Brainwash Cafe, but yeah. San Francisco changed. Brainwash now, Cafe homie. with the uh, laundromat. Yes, you've been there, dog. Yeah. You know, so like Hassan Minaj, Ali Wong, Hassan Minaj, Chris Garcia, the all these fools. Yeah. They all started out of there. Al Madrigal drop in there back in the day. Like, you know, it, it was like, that's the first place that I tried, uh, you know, stand up. And that know? one and skinny like, comedian that lives in the valley, I forgot his name. Oh, oh, oh. That Jewish. Lives, that lives in the valley. He lives in the Hollywood. Oh, 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 oh. you're talking about uh, Louis, Louis, Louis Katz? I went to Montreal with him. With Louis Katz? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a homie, Montreal. Man. He's like the generation before you, Louis yes, Katz. Yes, he is. Yeah, you're yeah. That, you're next. Because there was another guy too with um curly hair. He has a red hair dude. He's your friend too. He's married. Um, fuck, what's it? He's a Mets fan. He's from the Bay too. I can't think of his name. I know why. Curly red hair. Yeah. He's a comedian. Yeah. But he's fuck. like he's a more. He's gonna listen to this and be like, he's more you into fucking a, asshole. He's more into, a fa- he's more into his family right now. But he used to hang around with you guys too. Cause I remember I saw him on last comic standing, and we were talking. He goes, "Yeah, I remember you, bro." 
You told me you were moving your family to with, to Santa Monica with Hollywood so they could have a better education. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so yeah. Chris Garcia, bro. Yeah, Remember him? all that. Yeah, he's from down. So we had shared a similar story because it was funny. Like my whole life, even younger, I was always back and forth. Like even my my so my brother, my my grandpa, uh, brother, they both they all came from Zacatecas. They came to Pacoima first, but then my brother, uh, my grandpa's brother, moved to San Pancho. So he's all we've always had family that. But you know, there, there's that whole Norteño Sureño yeah. thing. So it was always funny to deal with, and it was always like a comical thing. I'm like, you motherfuckers are fucking the same fools, but you're like, oh no, fool, but I'm from up here five hours. I'm not a farmer, here, right? yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, like it's the same fucking head that now they're, but they're my family that's in San Pancho. They're like real Zacatecas. I mean, they're like you know they broken English and like you know like like that. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was like when I was up there and that's where I started comedy. But before I even started comedy, I was listening to uh, your like CDs, you know, your audio CDs and all that and all that stuff. And I was always a big fan. So when you came to Club Deluxe, that small club that it was, <laughs> even though we Monday got it cracking. Monday night was tight, bro. We got it cracking in yeah. there, homie. And I would tell the homies, I'm like, hey, fool, Felipe's coming through. Felipe's coming through. Man, we would fucking pack that motherfucker, dog. And we we, we brought it. You know, we were partying. Bro, the thing, crazy but. ass. It was, like a, it was like all open mic plus the headliner at the end. Yeah. And so anybody who knows Hate Street, Club Deluxe is on Hate Street. Hayden Ashbury, right yeah, on Hayden it. Hayden Ashbury is a historical, you know, Grateful Dead, hippie, hippie movement, all that shit. And that was where, where me and you started Bro, uh, vibing with each other. And it's a yeah. trip, you know, to to think back on that, homie. It's I like, remember, man, that night where... We were all buzzed outside, and Big Al had to get beat up by those two runaways, bro. No, I don't. I remember. Yeah, well, you talked him out of it, huh? Yeah, no. It was because I had that homie Jabari, who's from Altadena, but he was up there, too, doing his thing. He's still up there. He got out of the comedy game. Bro, those fools were swinging uh, chain with locks on them, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Like fucking uh, the Warriors, bro? Yeah. Like, hey, but Rodrigo, you know Al, homie, and he'll run his mouth, and I feel he'll like run his mouth. I feel like he doesn't get the situation he he's in sometimes. There's a, there's I'm a, like, fool, a, you know like, these fools will beat your ass right it's like, now. Like, it's like when, like, it's yeah. like when comics talk shit to Willie Barcelona, bro, there's going to be a fist flying soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Willie's thinking how to punch you five yeah, times in the head. Really, you gotta know your surroundings, bro. Like, you know how many times Willie put me in a headlock, dog, just to tell me that he's like, hey, hey, hey. I can <laughs> snap bro, you, you home. go up there, bro. <laughs> don't talk. Don't look at the audience straight in the eye, bro. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> you work. You work with that fool, Willie. Yeah. Oh, I mean, in the past, oh, but, dog. Uh, We've oh, done show. You oh, know, the craziest story because. Oh, yeah, shows in Fresno, shows in fucking, are. you know, those kind you of stuff. You share the room? No, no, no. I never right. shared a room with them all. You know, thank God. He did. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it was that. Dude. Once you get a few pieces with him, you know. And I got love for Willie, man. I know, you know, he's, he was weird, the guy right? I know that, back I, then. But, I like, know for, the you know, guy. to get that guy, like, oh, hey, come here. He's like, wait a minute. This is the guy that was telling me how to eat chilaquiles <laughs> earlier. Yeah, now he's telling you. Been a stro- now, he, now he has been a chokehold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like you said, day and night, bro. I remember like he was just telling me he sold he sold he sold uh, oranges at Griffith Park. <laughs> now, now he's now he's wanting me to tap out. Day and night. <laughs> I remember, dude, when we were doing the show at Pepper Bellies up in Avacaville. Pepper Bellies. That was um Frankie Castillo, Frankie um, Quinones for manager, bro. It was um, the Jimmy Indian, Goins. The Indian fools, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the Indian movies. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And Pepper and it, it mysteriously burned down. Did it? Do? I, but. I, what did um, we think it was for the insurance? Oh okay, uh, shit, that's pepper belly, not pepper meal. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I think of pepper belly. So pepper belly. I remember like uh, Willie killed it, and uh, he was like all like you know, uh, you know, fucking serious. And uh, like a, a couple of drinks after, he was behind the bar trying to serve him some drinks. Like what the fuck? What but, happened? Yeah, oh, he'll get serious, homie. Like yeah. he gets his speeches. <laughs> you know what? In your act, you don't need to do this and that. Speeches. Yeah, yeah. But you know, man, you that, thing, yeah. But yeah, I, yeah. I, wonder how, the, I wonder how Willie's doing, man. He's doing great. He's doing great. We were gonna do a live podcast with him, but then we canceled. <laughs> we didn't. We just they, they canceled on us, but then we canceled on him. So yeah. sooner or later, man, we're gonna get our own studio. We're gonna have live. We're gonna do a live podcast. Yeah, we're gonna have Willie. Pay per view. Yeah, yeah. No. pay per view. The rematch. <laughs> you know what's funny? I have a funny story about Pepper Belly. So I was doing that club for a weekend one time. And they even gave me a hotel. And then normally they wouldn't give a hotel. I was like, oh, fuck, I must be doing pretty good. 
and they had a I think it was Joy Medina they brought up there or something you know they were doing <laughs> <laughs> picture of my dick <laughs> hey whoa hey again yeah, pull the dildos out let's go it's Joy Medina weekend not <laughs> bad nah, hey love you Joy <laughs> yeah, nah, but uh I was fucking it was we did the the Friday Saturday shows we had the one Sunday night show left and I'm fucking my one of my homies hits me goes hey fool I'm DJing right here at this spot I'm like hey come through I'm like all right and then I had a homegirl with me and she goes hey I'll come back with you to your hotel Ooh. and I'm driving and it was uh, from Sacramento you know and it was right there you know Sacramento to to Fairfield or whatever and she's like, I'll follow you. And I'm like, nah, nah, don't follow me. You know, she was on some rookie shit. She's from Yuba City. So she was like a wholesome farm girl. <laughs> Yuba City. Damn. Yeah. Some but she's tailgating me, dog. And I remember looking in my rearview mirror being like, damn, like, you don't have to be on mass like that. Right All after that, cats. I see the lights. Boom. No. Pulls us both over, homie. It was my first DUI. They got me for possession, DUI, oh, toda la chingada, man. homie. And I'm like, fuck, homie. Like, but did you hook over. up? <laughs> yeah. And so Two I'm like, for one, did you hook up, though? No, they threw me in jail, oh, dog. No. Did you hook up her? in there, yeah. though? <laughs> How about her? If, uh, what, her? She got arrested, too? They let her go. Oh. They did her yeah. they let her little thing. And, you know, she's wholesome mommy, farm mommy from Yuba City. And so she's, uh, Leticia, I love you. I know you have a happy family now. So I hope you listen to this. But uh, she, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she, 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 you know, she felt bad because you know they were like she wanted to stay but they were i was like just go fuck you know they're not arresting you conjugal visit homie and mm -hmm. they were like hey we could tow your car we can leave it in the toys r us parking lot and Man. i go leave it in the toys r us parking lot because you know it's gonna Bro. cost you more feria if you get it oh, towed. Yeah. and they fucking put me in there and they'll be <laughs> like and i was making them laugh though in the back seat all cuffed up and they were hey, like, hey, we saw those, key, eh? they were like, we saw those plaques in your trunk. Like, are you military? I go, no, I performed for the military. I'm a comedian. He's like, oh, we saw those flyers back there. Like, oh, so I'm making them laugh. And they're pulling other fools over as I'm in the back seat. Like some fools all swerving and end up being an old chinito. And then they let him, they let him go. I'm not, you, you guys let that fool go. They're and I'm fucking, that, you know, you know? But the guy was like, I had him, though, at the end. And they go, I go, hey, homie, you guys could just leave me right here. Just give me my cell phone. I'll fucking get someone to pick me up. And they were like, fuck, man. They were being, like, cool at the end. They were just like, fuck, we dog. couldn't let you go, dog, but we already called you in. So if we show up, it'd be like you escaped. And I'm like, fuck. Bro. So they fucking threw my that ass. That must have been crazy because when you were driving, it was pitch black, huh? Over there you were at, right? Yeah, yeah, I was driving from yeah. Sacramento back to Fairfield, you know, so it's like that, uh, fuck, I forget the highway, but yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Bro, right I met a homie. promoter. Farm town, homie. Yeah. I met a promoter at the San Jose Pro. They used to book me for shows, and this fool was telling me how I, I tried to choke him, bro, one time, bro, because he couldn't find Coke. And uh, he was t and, uh, and like his production company was called um, Eight Ball Production, and he was telling all his friends in front of me, "Bro, how can you have a eight ball? How can you have a production called Eight Ball Production <laughs> and not and be able to provide a, cocaine? No eight ball, pussy." Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, that is some real shit though. Like, come on, homie. If you're gonna put that name on there, you better be coming with that fucking China White. Homie. Yeah, bro. That fool used to book me, bro. For that fool would put up shows that I'd be like. If we're gonna do two shows, then I realized the two shows in different places on the same day, dog. Wait, the same booker? The same booker. So I did a show in Watsonville at a bar, killed it, and then I had to drive to Seaside from Watsonville. Oh, fuck. You know how far that is, right? Yeah, I man, that's a good half hour at least. Yeah, so I went yeah, to yeah. Seaside to close out that show. But at Watsonville, I met a drunk ass chick, all right? <laughs> And, no, uh, not in Watsonville. Yeah. Oh my God. And I said, and I said, listen, man, I don't know what you're talking about, but I got another show to go, man. I go, I'm going over there, bro. So I'm at the show. Big mistake, bro. She's right there, all loud, heckling and shit when I'm up there, yeah, yeah. being obnoxious. And I said, oh fuck, hey, okay. how, how is this chick gonna give me a ride now? She's gonna be pat, she's gonna kill me, bro. I still took the ride home, bro. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm my seatbelt on. I look in the back seat. There's two <laughs> baby car seats, bro. She has two kids. Whoa. Hey, I took she, a ride home from Penn and Gemini. I, 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 I remember I look, I look back at the two car seats, and she's playing um, <laughs> Fernando, Fernando Vicente. Fer Vicente Fernandez. Vicente Fernandez. <laughs> Fernando Vic Fernandez, bro, his, his son. Alejandro. Oh, Alejandro. Alejandro. Oh, Alejandro. Oh, Loud, dog. The two car seats in the back. And she's going 65 through the fields. The two car seats are rattling. Through the fields yeah. of Selena, bro. She found a shortcut to get to my hotel room through this fucking cherry, through this farm, bro. 
She was going through farms, bro, all fucking fast. I looked back, it was all fucking dust. I was scared, bro. And like the whole time I'm thinking, man, she goes, she, I remember I looked back at the kids one more time, they were not there. She goes, they're judging me because I have two kids. <laughs> Tell them large Mars sent you. <laughs> Bro, I thought she was, I thought halfway home, halfway to my hotel room, I thought she was a ghost, bro. Like a ghost that just picks up drunk motherfuckers and then just drops them off and then you need her. That might have been what happened, dog. Huh? We went to the hot, we went to my room, bro, and she just went to my room and just fucking passed out, slept out her drugness, woke up and left. To take care of her babies, dude. <laughs> so you didn't get the eight ball. I didn't get shit, dog. <laughs> Uh, when she left, bro, I went to my, I went to the lobby, and there was fucking, they were serving, it was Embassy Suites Seaside, and they had a full on breakfast, bro. I made me a fat ass uh, breakfast, uh, and I went back to sleep, bro. Fuck yeah, dude. Are we allowed to talk about that dark shit? <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. Oh, homie, you remember we partied on Hit yeah. Ashbury that night? Fuck, homie. Wow. Yeah, we were doing the fucking hitting the powder and doing the thing, and we're different now. Everybody listening, uh, this was eleven years ago. I, always homie, felt, I remember I always, you got on the I, piano, I, I, and that was when I discovered that you could play the piano. But we hit a couple <laughs> ninjas, and then you were like, I'm going to get on the piano, bro. And I was like, I was like yeah, all right. I always felt good, bad homie. for that night that, that I met you, and then I, and then I asked you for that right away. That Oh, homie, I'm working on Hayden Ashbury. You know, you know, I worked at the hardware store three doors down from Club Deluxe. <laughs> I worked there for seven years, homie. You I knew at, everybody bro, on that street. Bro, you work at a fucking hardware store? You deserve to be where you're at. at the, Busting I mean, with hammers and shit like Cunningham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember, dog, you getting to the piano and you're fucking, we're all fucking, you know, we're off that powder, homie. So I just remember watching you from the back and you were fucking playing and your hair was, <laughs> your hair was like, it was like Beethoven. Beethoven. Yeah, at the end. I don't like, fucking I, I, flinging and you're like, dun, dun, dun. Beethoven, homie. And I'm I in the like, fuck I, watching the back like, fuck, fool, that's fucking Felipe. I'm right playing, I'm like, animal, animal, bro, from the Muppets play. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was like that, dog. I was like, yes. I worked with Craig Robinson my first time ever when I went to Mesquite, Nevada. He was featuring. I was opening. Wow. The headliner. Crazy, homie. The headliner was the head. Was the he was headlining forever, bro. I I never remember his name, but I know that Willie Barcena, his first time going on a road feature for the headliner. So that was our connection. Wow. What year homie. was that, dude? Fuck, bro. That must have been before two thousand one. Damn. Yeah. Because um. I met Craig Robinson, bro. He was out there playing piano, bro. Yeah. Right after me. And I watched his whole act, and we talked for a little bit. He told me I was funny, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he like, he's got love for you, and homie. And then he told me, the man, at that, that casino had the best coconut shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot he was hosting when you won last comic yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. We talked about that, homie. Yeah, because. He that... told me when I was going to win with what joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, he, he told me, bro, for, he goes, he goes, I knew you were going to win. And I said, when? When you said, um, I thought that was me dying. Oh, man. Oh, that was that joke. Oh, yeah. Oh, homie. I still, it's embedded into my brain, like when they announce the winner. Me too. And you remember when you put, you just put your head back like that, like I could genuinely see you were in disbelief and just like, and you were just like, oh, like. Bro, like, <laughs> I was up there, bro. <laughs> So we were up there longer than it was on television yeah. before they announced it because they want to get the intensity going. Yeah. But the crowd didn't give a fuck, bro. They kept yelling, Felipe! Felipe! Yeah, the whole show. Hometown, bro. The whole show, Felipe! And then, like, yeah. uh, Johnny, Tommy John again, he says something about it, but it felt like, Judge Bush, like when Judge Bush said that shit in front of Trump. Please clap. <laughs> <laughs> but how's your hometown, goes, can you I know? A, can I get a Tommy? <laughs> Like, what were these who was expecting? You know, like that was your, like plus, you had a fan base already. Plus, you know? what I did was I, I kind of like build an audience on the way there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, you know, like I build an audience. Oh, those people are rooting and for you. And all those fools that like, saw you before on TV, you know, like on K Locals and shit like that, you know, like you already had that fan base, you know? Hell yeah, bro. I was like Braveheart, bro. When Braveheart was talking to that old man, <laughs> you don't just gotta win the fight, you gotta win the audience. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Freedom! You win the audience, you win the fight. <laughs> Perform. Yeah, the Spaniard! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Bro, when I won, I remember we went straight to the house, Steve Downer, whoever was with me, and we just got stoned, huh? I and I couldn't good. eat no more. It was like my, I, I, when I won, it felt the same night as when my wife and I, Lisa, got married. I couldn't, I couldn't taste. 
I couldn't taste wow. food no more because it was so good, you know. Because you know, uh, oh wow, two it's times I like, tasted the taste of victory, you know. <laughs> Got married, <laughs> and uh, hey, congratulations! It's very emotional, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. So yeah, hell yeah. But I, I would meet fans like in the middle, like in Odessa. I remember meeting this woman, and um, she was there with her husband. He's big as me, and he said, "Felipe, man." We had a we had like a Super Bowl party for you for that night when they were gonna pick the winner. Dog. We had carne asada. We had family over. We were fucking. Oh, you know you know um, Kane Lopez. Did you know him before he passed away? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know his yeah, you know, I know his, yeah. You know his I know, cousin know Blas. Lopez. Of course, I know Blas. He gave me that Kane Lopez award one year. Yeah. <laughs> well, that dude was working for the city as a fireman, right? A fireman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he told me he got a in trouble. Or he something. got in yeah, trouble yeah. because. Every time I was on the show, he would get on the city phone and 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 uh, vote for the city phone. And the city phone was connected to like 200 other phones. Whoa. So every time I voted, every time he voted, it would send a message to 200 other phones to vote. Fuck yeah! Damn. Damn. Shout out to Blas, homie. Also, bro, I have people that were in prison voting for me. <laughs> Using their one card. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I, imagine, bro. Yeah. Imagine, bro. You could, you could, you could, you could call anybody from Folsom, but this guy decided to vote for number four, bro. Fuck <laughs> it. You know those other fools didn't have anybody in prison voting for them. You know. Hell like, no, Wayne dog. Cash, hell no, dog. Tommy yeah, yeah, yeah. Words, hell no, bro. The streets <laughs> fuck with you. You're gonna be well, all yeah. right. Yeah. But, it, but, it, but in the end, homie, funny is funny, and you funny fuck it. Funny, you you deserve to win that one, oh, homie. Yeah. That's oh, for yeah. sure. Not even trying to be like, hey, let me try. Hey. Hey. That was a work for LA right there, bro. <laughs> Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. That's badass. Hey, man, when your Cholo Creeper um, went f- fucking um, viral, yeah. what was that like? Because I know he told us when he went viral, but what was it like on your phone, like the reaction? Like, Homie, that shit was. Because, you know, I'm in my 40s, dog, so yeah. I'm not a real. Hey, I'm in my late 30s, so yeah, go ahead. <laughs> 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 uh, so I'm not like with the whole TikTok yes, yes. and all that chica, I'm, not, I'm not really up hip on it but i'm getting better at it obviously we have to as as performers but like when it happened i was like i knew it was funny i was like damn this shit came out kind of funny and it wasn't really planned it was mostly improv and other thing but then we put it out and then within i mean homie i woke up the next day type of shit i hungry my, right i had million? i had I had inboxes and this and that and couldn't get to it all huh people you know, people were, it was on so, so many different shit because people were ripping it, putting in other oh, languages and all kind of shit. I remember getting a photo. <sighs> well, one homie was uh, sent me a message from his hospital room. He had four consecutive uh, heart attacks. <sighs> and he was like, hey, homie, I don't know how much longer I got, but man, I found so the shit. Reap, and Reap I, Reaper. And I, <laughs> but he's just like, this is healthy, B. So I'm oh, like so. getting overwhelmed, homie. I'm like getting in tears because I'm fucking, I'm, like I said, I'm busting tables at the time and I'm going from that to that. And then these two fools all dog from in Australia, they're doing two cholo squats and they had a baby Joey, <laughs> a baby kangaroo between them looking like he's doing a cholo squat. <laughs> and they were like, represent, mate. Like, we love you, cholo fit. And that's when I was like, <laughs> what the fuck, dog? Like, this shit's fucking crazy. Like, Hell yeah. fools that didn't even know what a cholo was, they were embracing Creeper for whatever reason. Fuck you yeah, know, so. Dude. I don't know. That's when I realized you always know you knew it, homie. You knew when you were like, yeah. I'm gonna do this, whether I fucking make you know, two hundred dollars a week or five thousand dollars a week doing this, I'm gonna keep doing it no matter what. You know, you reach that yeah. point in the game where you're like, people go get in, you see actors get in, oh maybe this could be my angle. I'm gonna do stand up and yeah. that'll help me my star pop, you know. But real <laughs> stand, you know? <laughs> but fucking real stand ups. Yeah, man. About four or five years in, that's when you realize, like, hey, motherfucker, you in this or not? Because this is a marathon, homie. There ain't no fucking a getting discovered. And I know it happens for some people. People think so real. You would be handing you shit, but now. Nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that, homie. You gotta earn it. And then that just happened to be the thing that popped for me. You know what I mean? Hell but, no. What is that shit? You gotta cool jump over sometimes. Hurdle, oh, hurdle. Sometimes yeah. a hurdle, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a hurdle, homie. Yeah, yeah, and then they and they keep coming, you know what it's like, homie. Shit, and then your familia and everybody else around you thinks you're making more money than you do. So it's <laughs> like, and then when you tell like how, how divorce, much you, dog, I need help. And I'm like, how much <laughs> I need more. Oh my god. Yeah, dog. I'm like, I, you know, I have my limit. I'm like, hey, homie, there's so much I can give you, and yeah, hopefully you can pay me back. But you know, that's it, homie. <laughs> Motherfuckers are bold, huh? Tengo sarampión. <laughs> I cut a leg off. Yeah, man. My, my mom fell off the old couch yesterday. 
Didn't your mom <laughs> you open the couch? It was, it was the old one. Don't you know how to have that thing? <laughs> That's why she yeah, we don't even know we're going to have Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you're not going to have Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving's going to be there, bro, no matter what. You might not eat, but it'll be there. <laughs> With my mom's broken back, it's not going to be the same. <laughs> Oh, Sometimes, bro, when I see comedians, bro, that I started off with, and and they changed like over the years, and they're more mm -hmm. political now, but like hardcore political, or whether they're they're for the right. Oh, some shit. some are far oh, right, and going. some of them yeah. are far far yeah. so far left that you're like, wait a minute, man, how did, how did this person go from believing what I believe in to just believing to into something else, yeah, and dude. totally becoming a whole person? It's it's. Mind blowing, homie. Mind blowing, bro. <laughs> like, at home, like personal homies that I have, I'm like, what? You believe that? Like, I, I'm like, it's bro, crazy. I would never say that I grew up in an abandoned fucking tire shop, bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> that no, that no. Fuck, homie. <laughs> Born with depression? <laughs> For real, bro, I, bro. There's a thing now, like, I would never say stuff like, like, I would never learn a new word and then apply it for my life. Cause see, I grew up in my my house. I grew up, half of us were here legally. The other were the other weren't. Right, right, right. Yeah, but, yeah. I, but there were no labels for that. But now I know comics that grew, that grew up like that. Now, yeah, I know what's it like to be to ra be raised in a mixed mix. What do they call mixed family? Mix mixed race family or mixed yeah family? mixed race family. Mixed. <laughs> or mixed citizenship hey, you're the family. educated one over like fuck, yeah. what the fuck do I know when people are making up bullshit you're the lawyer homie uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers can make up anything and shit I used to suffer from fucking Tourette's now I'm cool <laughs> mixed but I don't know Diverse Bl family. blended family yeah. no blended family when you have a a white person a Mexican person blended Oh, you're talking about illegals versus legals living in the same yeah. household. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably a word. We should make up a word for that. If it is a new one. word, bro. It's called mixed relationship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look, I'll look it up. My relationship with that is more like my tias marrying illegals so they can get their citizenship. A family that has illegals in it. What's it called? <laughs> Mexican, you know what I'm anchor baby. No, not anchor baby. No. <laughs> oh, it's a mixed status family. Mixed, mixed status. status. Yeah, okay, bro. I know okay, comedians yeah. right now who okay, are sorry, calling. I didn't mean beaners. I know comics who are calling themselves that right now because that's a new word now. I don't know what it's like to grow up in a mixed status family. Well, I'm sorry, man, but I just trip out. It's sad that they have to go that way, you know, to like go for the sympathy route, you know, like this, you know, I feel sorry, you know, like. The whole point I'm trying to say is that you, we all started mm -hmm. off just trying to be funny, man. That's it. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I never got lost. I'm glad I never got oh, lost. Now, yeah. people were telling me, Felipe, you should use your voice for for the children who are in cages. Exactly. Bro, I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, bro. When you start coming to my shows and my shows start being packed, I'm going to start doing that. Eh? But right now, bro, I need adults in my shows. Yeah. Right. Who yeah. are you, Nanette? Or is it <laughs> it's like it's those things pulling at you where they feel like you owe the like a lot. Well, just in general, people feel like uh, I'm sure your family or people around you they feel like you owe them something. Yeah. You don't know them, hey, they owe you do your thing. Well, I'm shit, uh, believe me, I'm all about doing the right thing and doing all that. But there's people that exploit that. They take advantage of it and they're like, hey, fool, you're doing that. You should come do my my benefit. And I hit up your agent and he said you need to make profit. Oh, fuck that. You know, and they put that shit on your comments and all that. And it's like, oh, it's just fools that don't get it, homie. They just fucking, you know what I mean? We're all trying to do the right thing, I hope, you know, but it's like, you know, when people try to exploit that and be like, oh, you're a fucking asshole because you won't go do a fucking, you know, 45 minute set to raise money for the. It's like, but I do donate money. Yeah, but I'm me not, too. I'm not posting it all the me time. Neither. Like, hey, here's my certificate. I donated this much. I'm a good person, right? You guys I don't even stuff? go like, accept you know, the awards like, when they give them to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, we yeah, want to no, honor you. No, 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 no. Don't honor me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> don't, I don't want none of that shit. <laughs> no, no. Just keep catching those checks, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, a, it's I, just I don't want to be honored, brother, because you know when you get honored for stuff that you did for help, then you start, you start realizing that I do it for the for the stupid ass plaque, or that I do it because I wanted to do it. No, I did it because yeah. I wanted to do it. Yeah. I don't want no prize. My prize is a standing ovation every once in a while. Exactly, homie. Exactly. Or like, I, I don't like when like like I book comedians, and I don't like when comedians tell me thank you over and over during the week. Thank you for bringing yeah. me here. And then they put they put a post, <laughs> and I don't see no one thanks, bro. 
If you're gonna thank me, thank just, me to the post, motherfucker. Just crush it, open it for right Felipe now, Esparza. <laughs> if you're listening right now, don't thank me ten times all week. Take me in the post. Cause you yeah. were the club did not book you, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I brought you in there. I only wanna brought you here, motherfucker. Oh, shit, Ain't nobody man. looking for features anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody looking for hosts anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no the thing is this in the eighties, bro. This in the fucking eighties where the host got five hundred yeah. and the feature got a thousand <clears throat> and the fucking headliner got five thousand and nobody knew who they were. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. like back in the day where it's just like you over. get booked for being funny. It's like, what, you know, those days are oh, over, man. man you know? and, and it's tough that it's like that. It's yeah. like, damn, you know, we meet funny fools all the time. We're like, damn, this motherfucker's funny. But then, you know, you start hearing their whole life story yeah. or side stories. Or, or, so, or, they, or, or they have no social <laughs> media, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, bro. We were just yeah, talking yeah, about that shit, last yeah. week. I was because we were talking about um, Dennis Gaxiola, comedian, because uh. I know him. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna wanna help him get on, on fucking Stand Up Revolution. Uh -huh. I told him, bro, you know the book is Stand Up Revolution. Let me call him right now. See, I told him. Uh, so um, this fool has 55 million views on uh, on um, fucking um, Come on dry him? comedy humor. Oh shit! Oh yeah, Dennis, yeah, Dennis dry Gashiola. comedy. That spot in the Midwest. Yeah, or Dennis yeah, yeah. Gashiola. He has more views than any of those dudes. Yeah, and if no. you go to the the dry dry comedy humor page, yeah. It's because of what um, of Dennis, right? So, do he, he has one that has twelve? He has one that has five million. His stand, some, somehow his stand of revolution made it up there. He has eight hundred ninety-eight. There are thousand, right? Four million, but total fifty-five million. So I told Bush, bro, you talk to him, bro. Go talk to him. What's up with the fuck? What you got? Fucking fifty-five million, bro. Let's fucking push this fucking needle, right? So, he he went over there and, told, and talked to him, bro. Listen, man. He goes, I know, man, I know. <laughs> but, but he goes to his Instagram page, motherfucker had to post this in last December, bro. Damn, yeah, God. that's the thing. You yeah, can't yeah. do that, dude. But so I told him, but, but you know, Dennis is older, man. He's I like, told Dennis, I told Bush to tell Dennis this. I said, listen, man, all he need, he don't, gotta do, he don't, he, he don't even got to get a new Instagram. He didn't even got to win a webpage. All he has to do is shout out maybe $300 a month. And get a guy to look for the algorithm. All these people who are fucking watching these fucking videos. Fifty-five million views, really? It's a grip. Fuck yeah! Man, you gotta man. post. I, I mean, said I'ma text him right now. You gotta, you gotta get a. a Dennis guy. was one of my mentors. I get, hey homie, you gotta, you gotta get a guy that does algorithms. So when he puts out a post, it'll 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 be like a like a bait. To right. A, a physical oh, market. if you got 55 million yeah. views, people are yeah, looking you up. Yeah, they're right, looking right. them up. Yeah, so yeah, wherever yeah. they're looking them up, it'll reach those people. You know what I mean? It'll reach yeah. those people, maybe. But he keeps doing this for like what, a whole year. They motherfucker gonna be selling out shows like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Fuck. We so, gotta call this guy. It is all positive yeah. stuff. I'm saying nothing negative. No, no, yeah. YouTube channel off of those followers. Yeah. Not negative, so you're, you're, you're for real. It's like, you know, like, you know. I know people no, with no, less yeah, than yeah. that who are I, hustling. I, I honestly want to call Dennis after this and be like, hey, homie, you got 55 million views? That's insane. That's more than that's more than well, TV forgot, shows, dude. I remember you when, need a post. I remember back in the days when I think I, when I would get like no views. I remember my post would get like sixty thousand views, but somebody hating on me would get a hundred thousand likes <laughs> on a comment. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? In the beginning, is like we're just trying to be. We're. All, I mean, we're still just trying to make people laugh and feel yeah. good. But like in the beginning, it's like I'm sure it was the same for you. You know, you're just like. Okay, cool. You're just happy anybody's paying attention. Yeah. You're just like, fuck, I'm doing my thing. And then you get those well, first haters that first start coming in. And you know, at first I didn't know how to handle it. I'm like, <laughs> oh, what? Oh, that's how they feel? Oh, God. I'll be like, like, I, okay. I remember I didn't know about that. I'll be like, give me your address, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's all. Me, dog, and I'll be like, and my primos will be watching, like my fucking cholo primos. Like, hey, fool, who's this fucker? Fucking, uh, you know, Randy, whatever. Down Randy here. for five I'm like, dash. I'm like, you know, then I had to be take a step back and be like, you talk to the OGs, and it's like, hey, homie, that's part of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, in our culture, there's nothing that can get big without fools hating. You know, Bob Marley has haters. Yeah, Put man, Jesus way, Christ you know? had haters. Look what happened exactly. To him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They even, they even, he, he even said it in one of his <laughs> quotes: "A prophet is never welcome in his own town." Wow! Oh, damn! Because every deep. prophet that went back to their town got murdered. And the guy, what's his name? Uh, is that is is that is is that is that Kyrus? He was preaching the coming of God. Got killed in his own town. John the no Baptist. Shit. 
prophet killed in his own town. Chopped. Jesus Christ went back to um, Bethlehem, Jerusalem, killed in his own town. Damn, homie. All right. So I guess we'll keep just touring and trying a to make comic it. A comic is now, yeah. Point blank <laughs> fucking snap. <laughs> Shout out to my wife who's into Colombo right now. Orale, Colombo, the throwback, homie. Really? You're into it? But that oh, motherfucker, bro, be asking you solving cases, just fucking with you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like he be halfway, he be halfway home. Oh, one more, one more thing. <laughs> it's like it's like you arguing with your wife all night. You know? It's like you lying to your wife. She goes, one more thing. <laughs> you smell, you, you smell like soap we don't have. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man, yeah, yeah. I'm glad, hey, yeah. We need like a Mexican Colombo how solving cases. <laughs> uh, me, yeah. El Metiche. El Metiche. <laughs> yeah. Colombio. Hey, growing up in your neighborhood, bro, they were like nosy ass neighbors who had nicknames? Yeah, homie, like, for sure. You know? We had, we had a, a, I had an interesting, like, we moved, you know, we moved around a little bit, but it was like, we, at first we lived in a one metro apartment right here, and then we lived in Chatsworth. Like I said, we were moved up little by little. My mom and dad were always on the grind. Trying to make it happen, you know. They didn't go to college, nothing. <clears throat> but I always had a good life. Homie, I always had like a lot of love, and they always taught me lead with gratitude, be appreciative, and I felt like that's helped me get where I want to go. But they, you know, then we moved to a town home, and then we moved to like a cul-de-sac, and it was like, oh shit, homie. And it wasn't a big pad. It was like a, you know, two, three bedroom, one story house. Mm -hmm. But to us, to the rest of our family, they're like, oh fuck, you know, they they, the they're money. fucking doing it over there now, you know. But it was like. We had our nosy ass neighbors, yeah, or the ones that were like those chi the chi these chinos that live next to us, who are dear friends of mine, the Chewy fa family. Thank you, and then a black family that lived next to us here. But it was funny because it was a lot of white folks in the neighborhood, so it was kind of interesting. It was like, oh, you guys are buying this spot, like, all right, let's let you guys get right here and we'll get right here because you know, you look for the next best thing or whatever. But it was like. A Chinese family, a Mexican family, a black family, and the most other white. There was like a Filipino family and one other Mexican family on the block, and that was it. But yeah, we had our our names for them, and the and yeah, yeah. And my mom and dad, if they got in a fight, my mom would throw all the shit on the front lawn, and fucking the neighbors would be driving by like fucking. Throw the yard sale again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just getting mad. My dad was very, you know, my dad is OG homie. He was a cholo, you know. He's like always had a low rider. My Nino was president of Lowrider Car Club for a long time, so we are always at Lowrider shows, whatever. But he was always out there working on his truck, always his Chuck Taylor's dickies, but he always made me do my chores on me. And like, and like, if I didn't pick the weeds, when he told me, I, you know, cause you're like, oh, dad, no, I'll get them done, I'll get them done, I'm gonna get them done, homie. He would come home from work, you know, he's busting his ass, and he'd be like, hey, what happened? I thought you were gonna do the weeds today. And I'm like, ah, hey, oh, sorry, dad, cause I got cut up, cause you know, Ricky wanted to kick it. And that fool had me out there. He'd be with, a, I'll be with a flashlight on me at night, you know, fucking picking the weeds. And the fucking yeah. white neighbors are driving by, like, what the fuck is going on here? You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, what is he doing? He started, and I was like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, I had that, that, that discipline, that, that, uh, that guidance or whatever. Oh, but yeah. we had, that, of course, my mom and dad had the, the nicknames for the neighbors, you know. But, but for the most part, we were cool with our immediate neighbors, the Chinese family, the black family. And the fool would babysit me. His name was Sylvester. He was one of the, his dad was a preacher in a Baptist church here in LA. And then he, he got cancer at like 34, homie, and passed away. And then when I went to his funeral, uh, you know, it still fucking gets me to this day. I'm like, damn. But, you know, you go to our funerals, you know, we're very Catholic, very like, you know, we might have the mariachi, yeah. a little bit of like celebration. Life. I mean, they are celebrating life, homie. And this fool was gone way too young, you know, for 36 years old he passed. Sorry, I'm all banging on the yeah. table. Uh, but, you know, they got the choir, they're singing, da da da. And I'm like, damn, homie, like, that's all I want. Trying to get in the coffin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 but I'm just saying, like, I was like, damn, it was a beautiful day. So I felt like. It, it was good. Like I, I, you know, I've had a good life. Mom, I saw, I, I saw my mom and dad struggle more than I had to. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm forever grateful for that. You know what I mean? Because I know you, homie. I mean, you grew up in the projects, dog. Like you know, it's like that. And a lot of my familia, the same thing. You know what I mean? So I was always the one. They were like, when I would try to be down with them, they'd be like, you know, hey, homie. You know, you live in your little cul-de-sac. Like you got a good. Like this life ain't for you. And I try to be down. They would whoop my ass. Or I oh. did I, I did get my ass whooped. I got 12 staples right here. I got a dent in my skull, you know, and 
had a light on my mom and be like, no, it was recess and I fell, but I was really, I was trying to be something I wasn't and I got my fucking ass kicked <laughs> on me. And that's when I realized I wanted to do art, you know, instead. <laughs> that's crazy, but grew up in a cul-de-sac. I couldn't live in a cul-de-sac, bro. Every time, every time the light goes under at the end, I'd be like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> who's that making a U-turn? <laughs> who's that making a U-turn over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Wait. man. What's up, food podcast? What's your Instagram? <coughs> uh, it's, uh, Frankie Quinones or uh, Cholo Fit Creeper. And on, yeah. and on TikTok? Uh, Cholo Fit Creeper. Yeah. I just, TikTok I just away, got bro. into the TikTok. All right, now back. Yeah. Comic Martin. This fool kills it, dog. I mean, he inspires me on the social <laughs> media. I try. I'm man. like, I'm trying to be like I you, try. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Humble, dog. <laughs> Humble soul. <laughs> Oh man! But uh, but yeah, yeah. The homie Craig, I told him I was doing your thing tonight. Craig Robinson, I can't wait to tell Todd Rex that you use your server at a fucking thing, homie. And they tell him it was they, a, they send your love. An they Italian love, restaurant. Homie. Maybe he was there for a week only. <laughs> yeah, right. That sounds right. Yeah, that fool can't hold the, the job, one dog. One, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got kicked off the Craig Robinson tour like three or four times already, homie. <laughs> He's coming back, baby. He's coming back, <laughs> No, but they they were like, hey, tell that boy, you know, we send their we send their love, we send their love, and do their thing, homie. We just we're just in Chicago this past weekend because his mom passed away, homie. So we were there, so rest in peace to you Flora, doing a show? Flora Robinson. Now nah, we went out there oh, for the funeral. Okay. Yeah, but it was Lollapalooza, so everybody was like, oh, you're out there for Lollapalooza? I'm like, no, no. That was in Chicago, home. right? It was yeah. Packed, I heard, bro. People crazy, were dog. fucking running in. I saw the TikTok videos, Oh, dude. that was embarrassing, bro. I was it so was embarrassing. Fun, bro. Like, they were showing people running in to to, to um sneak in. It's people snuck and they, in. And the only person they caught was a guy with a metal leg, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, come on, Felipe, come on. I'm bro. not lying, bro. You saw the video, right? <laughs> it looked, it <laughs> I was a loser, bro. bro. It was funny, bro. Fuck, Look who they I'm sorry to laugh. It was like this. The video was, look who they caught, wait till the end. And everybody running out the gate, and here come that fool with one metal leg, bro. And he, the guy Limping, just stopped, bro. bro. Oh, my God. Limpiando, that shit homie. bent. Yeah. It be, they bent the leg? Well, his leg his leg is one of those ones that bends so he could run. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh it had a spring, leg. like a, a spring. spring yeah. like a, so he had like an a, advantage, bro, but he fucking... <laughs> they caught that fool, bro, skipping. <laughs> you, yeah, dude. Wait, serio, homie? Serio, yeah, bro. Yeah, dude, it's on TikTok. video. Yeah, people, people, were for that yeah, yeah. people were commenting. Yeah, yeah. People were commenting, man. That's uh, that sucks, man. They're fucking discriminating against that fool. That's party. He couldn't get a ticket. <laughs> I feel, I hope like one of the famous fools that performed there was like, hey, you know what? I got you, homie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna send you a with stronger my spring King. with my homie a stronger kickstand. spring for yeah. your leg. Yeah. What's up, Fierro? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lit bits to got you, bro. <laughs> there was a lot. Of people were really close, huh, on that show. Yeah, dude. What's up, fool? Brea Improv this week, sold out. Oxnard next week, almost sold out. Pittsburgh Improv, August 20, 22nd. If you're a steel worker, get at me. Naples, Florida, Off the Hook Comedy Club, August 27th through the 29th, people. Ooh. Are you going to do that podcast at Off the Hook? You got to do that podcast with oh, the with homie. Oh, fucking uh, Manny Modonado. In the, in, the in, the in the car, in the car, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> it looked like look him, bro. <laughs> Captain Brian, you know <laughs> what, dude? Captain does Brian, look like Captain that Brian, fool. <laughs> he does Captain like Brian to the max. <laughs> bro, that fool has the oh uh, um, God, he has the no coffee and cars podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the 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 don't give me gas, but just do my podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Backseat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man He has good food though bro Dude Fuck that man. comedy club The fucking food Oh my god And his parents dude. are At every show bro it's They're good, loving good. you they oh. And then I remember they gave me Like a free shot of Did you do that Outside show with them In fucking Florida And um, fucking Philadelphia No I never did no, that Nah right. I did the 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 punchline in Philly That That's it That's the only place yeah, I, I, did, I, did, I did I did I want to do helium though But yeah Oh you did helium yeah. How was it? Is, I, yeah, heard that, I heard that that's good. the spot. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Food Podcast? Thank you very much for being here. Uh, Martin Rizzo, Rodrigo Torres. Check out the Yeah Man Podcast. And um, the other one. Um, Squad by the Bell. Squad by the and, Bell. Uh, podcast of the North. Yeah. You have a podcast? No, right? No. Well, I have a podcast launching August 25th. Uh, Will Ferrell's Big Money Players Network. Ooh. But it's a. Uh, Hell yeah. yeah. It's like, see, you know, it's like a throwback to like Adam Sandler, Cheech and Chong, Jerky Boys, scenes like that. 
But it's, it's called the Frankie Quinones show. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, Frankie, yeah man. man. And also, man, go check out our, our sketch tomorrow with yes. Primo Emo. More importantly. More importantly. Yeah, Emo Primo. And, uh, hey, Felipe, thank you for fucking doing that, homie. Thank you for like, having when me I got the A inbox, lot of fun, bro. Yeah, you were like, I'll straighten my hair. I was I like, oh, do fuck. it, bro. Ube. And watch yeah. Frankie Special on HBO Max, por favor. It's called Super Homies, but yeah. But more importantly, hey, Felipe, thank you, homie, for staying thank the you, homie man. all these years, doing your thing. You're, oh, you've been, yeah. you've been a motivating, inspiring motherfucker, homie. That's what's up. Yeah, man. <laughs> and to Rodrigo being for being all cool with me over there at Specs or whatever it was. Or what was <laughs> Specs. It? Pixels. Pixels, yeah. <laughs> Specs. Because last time I seen you after that was at the Improv in Ontario with Edwin, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah that was right with the yeah the, the cholo, the cholo you, fifty bro. went crazy. Yeah, yeah bro. Dude, dude, Mar- a crazy Martin. Martin. How is it? Bomb, dude. Oh, oh,